Begin by pressing the On button located on the control panel. This turns on the video projector. Connect your laptop by choosing the appropriate cable connection for your computer. The preferred method is to use the digital HDMI port and the digital cable supplied to you by your IT liaison. This cable is specific to the digital ports available on your computer and supplies the highest resolution video and digital audio. If one has not been issued to you, contact your IT liaison. If your computer is older and only has a lower resolution analog VGA connection and no digital ports, select the VGA cable and connect it to your computer to display video. Plug the attached analog audio cable into the headphone jack on your computer. Connect the Ethernet cable, which provides a direct wired internet connection. It is also recommended that you connect your laptop to AC power. After the projector is warmed up and the on button has stopped flashing, turn on your laptop and press the button on the control panel to match your selected connection preference, either HDMI or VGA. You may need to adjust the display output settings on your laptop. If you have an image on your laptop and no image on the screen, or vice versa, and are using a Dell Windows XP laptop, press and hold the function key, which is labeled FN, then the F8 key. Repeat this step until you have an image on both the laptop and projection screen. Be sure to wait a few seconds to give the projector time to recognize the signal when changing outputs. If you are using a Windows 7 or Windows 8 laptop, press the Windows key and P key simultaneously for presentation mode, and select Duplicate from the menu. Other laptop manufacturers may have different key combinations to change display outputs. Please consult your user manual or call the CVS Help Desk for support. Make sure the volume is turned up on your laptop, and then adjust the room volume using the volume knob on the control panel. If you're accessing the internet with the provided network cable, your laptop should automatically connect to the network. If using wireless, you'll be asked to log on to the campus network. Enter your campus email username and password. When finished, shut down your laptop and disconnect the cables. Before leaving the classroom, remember to turn off the video projector by pressing the off button on the control panel. If using a digital cable, please remember to remove it and take it with you.